Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our robotics class. This is week 31. This is the week that we are back from the break, even though I'm recording this video on the week before we go on the break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so who even knows what's going to happen um, from the time that I'm making this video until the time when you're watching the video, right? We have no idea. <laughs> Uh, well, I hope everybody's going to have a nice break and I hope that you'll all be back. Or maybe some of you guys will run away or maybe I'll run away. Who knows? We have no idea what's going to happen, right? Anyways, welcome. We're in robotics class. Hopefully you're ready to jump right back into some VEX code. I know you guys were just itching. You, you couldn't wait to get back into programming robots again. So here we are. And we are in unit six, knowing your location. So if you remember um, the video that you watched the last time, we started unit six, learning about the location sensor. And um, pretty cool, right? We have our grid and we can know where our robot is using the location sensor. Um, so we're gonna be moving into lesson two, which believe it or not, has a bunch of parts to it. So I'm going to try my best to get through this um, with you guys. And then uh, we're going to do the mini challenge for lesson two. Okay. So it says in this lesson, you're going to create a project using the location sensor to navigate the VR robot to a certain place on the number grid. So in the mini challenge, which is what we're going to be doing, we're going to be navigating the VR robot to the number eight and then to the number four on the number grid map. So if you remember, in case you forgot, this is our number grid. How do we know it's a number grid? Let's go back to second grade. <laughs> if you guys remember back in second grade, we always do our number square where we type up the numbers. We, we learn how to use Microsoft Word. Remember that guys? I know it's been a long time. And we type in all the way from one to 100. And then we learn how to change the colors. Do you guys remember that? Anyways, this is our number grid. Um, and so here we go from one all the way to 100. Um, we have all the numbers. And so we're going to be using that. So no more wall maze. Woohoo! Who's thankful that we're done with the wall maze? I know I am. I was getting so sick of doing the wall maze. I am really happy that we've moved on from that. So we're going to be learning how to identify how to create a project that has a VR robot drive along the X axis until the value of the location sensor is greater than the threshold value. You're like, what language is she speaking? Don't worry about it. We're just gonna learn about the X, Y coordinates. Everybody, hopefully I'll be reviewing that with you. Um, and then everybody should know how to name and save a project. We've been doing it for way too long now. So here we go, drive to the number um, five and back to the number one. Let's start with that one. So that. It's kind of where we're starting. So got, driving to the number five and then going back to the number one. So let's think about this. Um, the VR robot will drive to the location of the number five on the number grid map playground. However, before the VR robot can navigate to that number, the VR robot has to be told where that number's location is. So beginning at the center of the playground, the coordinates of number five are negative 100 and negative 900. So how do we know that? Because remember we're using this grid here. So the X axis goes, um, goes from left to right. And in the middle we have zero. And then as we move to the left, we have all of the negative numbers going all the way to negative nine hundred over there and then positive numbers moving to the right. So we can easily look here and say, hmm, for the X coordinate, if we bring our line up here, we're like, hmm, just right about at negative 100 would be the middle of the number five. And then for Y, if you could imagine the Y axis coming from top to bottom, it would be the same thing. Zero is in the middle and anything moving down would be negative and anything moving up would be positive. So we're, um, so our location is at negative 900. So how do we know that? Because if you look here, um, it's going to show you. So there it is, okay? So we 
To begin, the VR robot needs to be facing the number five. So we have to drag in a turn four block to the workspace. So we're gonna use when started, turn right for 90 degrees, and then we're gonna drag the non-waiting block, the drive forward block, okay? And then we're gonna be using this wait until block, but we're, uh, we're gonna be dragging in something into this here, see this blank spot? So if you remember, we've been learning how to fill that in. So we're gonna be using the greater than block instead of the less than block, because the VR robot is driving to the right from the left side of the playground. So the VR robot is starting at X value of negative 900. As the VR robot drives forward towards the X, the X value will increase, right? So um, starting at negative 900 and moving to negative 100. So drag the position of the robot block in. So we're dragging it in, position of X in millimeters. And then, um, the position of the robot block is a numeric reporter block. So that means that you have to put a number in there. And it reports that the X or Y coordinate position, um, whatever it is, that's what it will report. So you can, there's a pull down, you can either choose X or Y, and then you can choose millimeters or inches. So we're just using millimeters right now. And then you can put in the number. So for here, we're setting the parameter to negative 100 because we wanna wait until the robot gets to the position of X in, in negative 100. So hopefully you're seeing that right here. The number, the number five, X at negative 100. Okay, does everybody see that? So negative 100 right there, X at negative 100. Okay, so that's what we're trying to get this robot to move over to where the X is negative 100. I wish, you know what the hardest thing about doing this is I don't have any feedback, you know? So I have no idea if you're sitting there looking at this like, I don't know, could you say it again? So, or you're like, oh yeah, yeah, totally makes sense. So that's really the hardest part for me here um, with this is I have no idea. So if you ever wanna stop in during your lunch, uh, I'm here, you know, you can just come in and be like, you know, that last lesson, I have no idea. Could you explain to me about the X and Y coordinates? Could you show me? We could do it on paper or whatever. Like, I just want to make sure that you understand that I'm not just sitting here making these videos, you know, for the sake, I hate doing things just for the sake of doing them. I try to be very purposeful about things. Um, I really, this is like the kind of person that I am. I don't really just like going through the motions of things. Um, and so if you really do want to stop in because you're confused or something like, definitely do that. I just, I would hate for you to just be like, I don't know what this is and just give up. I mean, that's pretty much the worst thing you can do in your life is give up. People who have the greatest successes in life are the people who never give up. They're not afraid to fail. They're not afraid to fail a million times. And at that last time they get it right, they keep going. That's my little motivational thing for you guys. Um, okay, so watch the robot drive to the number five. So now we're getting to the number five. So now let's see. So it says in the project, the VR robot drives to the number five, right? The wait until block is used so that the VR robot will continue to drive forward until the X value is greater than the X value of the coordinate that the indicated number is on, right? So once the value is greater than negative 100, the project moves to the next block in the stack, which is a stop driving block. So because it's going to stop when it gets to negative 100, right? So hopefully you're, this is making sense. Turning right 90 degrees, driving forward, waiting until the position on the x-axis is negative 100, um, and then stop driving. That's basically what the code is doing here. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So now this next one is showing you how to drive to the number one. Now the VR robot will drive back to the number one. So our robot is at the number five, needs to go back to the number one. So let's say to navigate the VR robot back to the number one, Remove the stop driving block and replace it with the following blocks. 
So we get rid of the, the stop drive. And what do we do? We put in a um, turn right um, block. Excuse me for one moment, hang on. Okay, so we put in the turn right, the drive forward, and then we're using instead, we're checking the position of the number one and we know it's at X at negative 900. If you look back here, remember, X at negative 900. So we have, that's what we're gonna put in for our value. And then we can use the stop driving block. So it says, note that the second wait until block contains a less than Boolean block instead of a greater than. Why is that? Because the robot is now driving down the X axis and the numbers are becoming more negative. So the VR robot will stop once the X values are less than negative 900. So there we go. That's our code that will get our robot back to the number one. So um, that's pretty much just a very short um, way to explain to you guys how to do this. So you're, so you're starting out, you're turning right 90 degrees, driving forward. You're waiting until the X position um, is less than the negative 100. Um, so greater than negative 100 is true and less than negative 100 is false. Then you're turning right 180, driving forward. Then you're putting back in the other value, the negative 900 value. So the greater than would be false and less than would be true. And then you're stopped driving. So that's getting your robot to go literally from, um, let me show you back here. So you're just going, starting at the number one, going to the number five, from the number five back to the number one. And that's what you're doing. Uh, so for your information, a wait block will pause the project's flow for a specific period of time in seconds before moving on to the next block in the stack. A wait block can be used to help observe individual behaviors in your project that may run quickly together such as moving between two different locations in the playground. So I think we're, hopefully everybody knows about what you understand the wait block, right? You can wait for a specific amount of seconds or you can just wait until something actually happens. Like in this case, getting to the X value of negative 900 and then it will stop. So there's different types of wait blocks, if you remember. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the mini challenge, which is what we will actually be doing. So hang on, let me open up my code. Okay, so here we go. Here's a blank project. I can go in here, I can rename it. Put your name, so I'm reminding you, please, when you email me something, put your name, put what it is. This is unit six, lesson number two, mini challenge, rename it. That way I know what it is. And then let's start it. So for the mini challenge, you're gonna create a project where the VR robot drives to the number eight and then drives to the number four on the number grid playground map using comparison blocks, the wait until box and the location sensor. So our goal is going from the number four to the number eight. So let's watch the solution video to see how the VR robot drives in order to complete the mini challenge. So let's see what happens. So there's our robot turns. Our robot goes to the number eight, turns around and goes to the number four and stops. Woohoo! So we're going from one all the way to eight, eight all the way to four and stopping. So that is what we're doing. So we're going to, I'm going to pull open the code and we're going to take a look at it. Okay, so what I did is I just, I think that I put up the, um, this uh, number grid here with the with X axis because I want us to take a look here. In the example that we are going to be doing is we are moving from, I hate how this thing, you can't see the bottom row when I do this, it's really annoying. I don't know how to get you guys to be able to see it better. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so let's look at it on here. Um, so we're going from the number one to the number eight. So we know that on the X axis, the middle of the number eight is at 500. So that's going to help us with our code because what we're going to do is we're going to, our robot is facing this way. So we know it has to turn right. So our first block is turn right 90 degrees. Then we know we're going to be driving forward. So put your drive forward block. Then go ahead and grab the wait until block, 
which is inside of the control flow. There's your wait until block right here. Then go ahead in the operators, grab one of these. Okay, grab one of the greater than. And then um, in the sensing, grab the position um, in the location sensor, grab the position in, um, in millimeters. Make sure it's X and then put in 500 because we know that's going to get us to the eight, okay? That will get us to the eight. Then what we're doing next is we're turning around and we're going to the number four. So remember your robot has to make a turn of 180 degrees because your robot's now facing this way, but needs to go and face back that way. So we put in our turn right for 180 degrees, put in your drive forward. And now what we're looking for is the position of the number four. So here's the number four. So just kind of bring your cursor up. The number four is at negative 300 on the X axis. It's at negative 300. So you go back in, do your wait until block, position, make sure you put it in and put negative 300 in there, okay? And then put your stop driving. So now when we test this out, which I need to, let me just put this a little bit higher. So, oh, it's so hard to show you guys. See how it's going now? It's driving to the number eight, stopping, turning around and driving to the number four and stopping. So perfect, that came out perfect. And so that's exactly what you guys are going to do is recreate this code and test it out inside of your number grid playground. Make sure your robot drives to the number eight, then turns around and drives back to the number four. So I'd say it's pretty easy, right? I hope you're getting the hang of it. You're understanding how now the location sensor, you can actually put in the value um, and you can you'd be able to use that uh, to help your robot drive around the number grid. So that's really what you guys are gonna be doing this week is doing the mini challenge, getting your robot to drive from number one to number eight, and then from number eight back to number four. Send me the code, make sure you label it. And then there is a quiz. So let's go over the questions to the quiz. So question number one says, which of the following describes how the VR robot will move in this project on the grid map playground? So let's look at this one. When started, turn right for 90 degrees, drive forward, wait until the position of X greater than zero, stop driving. So you can read through the different ones. Um, they each kind of just describe out the position, but the answer is B, the VR robot will turn right 90 degrees, then drive forward, until the X position is greater than zero. Then the VR robot will stop driving. So you're really, all you're doing, remember with code, when you look at all these blocks and everything, you're just trying, how can you put that into words? How can you write that out, right? And so you're just going block by block, line by line, and you're writing it out. And so the answer is B. Um, next one, which of the following describes how the VR robot will move in this project on the number grid playground. So again, we're looking over here and we're like, okay, so when the one started turn, it's gonna turn right for 90 degrees, drive forward until the position of X is greater than 50. Then it's going to drive in reverse until the position of X is less than negative 500. And then it's gonna stop driving. So we're basically just looking for which of these is telling us that, and I believe it's A, the VR robot will turn right 90 degrees and drive forward until the X position is greater than 50. Then the VR robot will drive in reverse until the X position is less than 500. Then it will stop driving. Let's take a look at the next one. What are the approximate coordinates for the number 33 on the number grid pl map playground? So number 33 is right here. So let's take a look and let's think about this. Let's look for our X. So X is the red line there. Bring your cursor up. It looks like X would be negative 500. 
And then what would Y be? So kind of bring your cursor over to here. Y looks like negative, oh my God, I can't even see what that number is. Negative 300. So let's see uh, what the answer is. So the answer actually is um, right here, D, negative 500 comma negative 300. There we go. That would be our coordinates for 33. Um, and that's if we were gonna say, okay, where's 33? You could give the coordinates. Okay, the last question, the coordinate location of the number four on the numbered grid map playground is X is negative 300 and Y is negative 900. What is the correct sequence of commands to code the VR robot to drive from the number one to the number four? Okay, so they're telling you what the coordinates are for the number four already. So let's see if you guys can remember the code for this one. Hmm, I almost don't want to give you the answer because I want to see if you guys actually figure it out. So remember, your, it, what will the robot do? Well, first the robot has to turn right for 90 degrees, right, drive forward, and then it's going to wait until the X position is greater than what? I'm not going to tell you what's the X coordinate because the answer is right there. And then find your answer. So let's see who is really listening this week. Okay, guys, so you have your quiz and you have your code to um, send in to me. Make this a really good start. This is brand new fourth quarter first assignment. Keep on it. Do it today when you go home. So that way you're done with it. You don't have to be like worried um, that, oh my gosh, I didn't send it in and then wait until the last day. Um, do it today. Get it done. Send it in and start off your last quarter of the school year doing amazing. All right, and then we will see you guys next week, okay? Bye, guys.